normal? Online is not your only option. Because new normal means new learning modalities and new learning possibilities. Let Dibal make learning offline possible with Smart Class. Smart Class contains pre-made daily modules sequenced according to DepEd's budgeted teaching and learning calendar. Each module has a specific lesson duration and has day markers to guide parents and teachers in the asynchronous learning of learners. Inside the modules available in Smart Class, you will find the following elements. First, learning competencies are identified in the module openers. Kickstarters are available to test students' prior knowledge on the subject matter. This set of activities, found at the beginning of each lesson, may also serve as motivational activities. Parents of preschool to grade 2 students will also find notes to parents which contain tips and pointers on how they can guide their child while learning at home. Redefine your student's learning experience with the integration of augmented reality technology into images and illustrations available in Smart Class, making learning more interactive and exciting. At the end of each module, Long Quiz is also available to assess students' understanding of the lesson. Smart Class also features Wrap Up, a lesson ender activity that applies the constructivism theory of learning. In wrap-up, students are expected to summarize the lesson on their own using a graphic organizer. You may also evaluate the quality of your students' learning by letting them practice their learning in real life through GRASP's formatted performance tasks. The content of Smart Class is designed for the entire academic year, and it is available for five major subjects. essential learning competencies prescribed by DepEd. Secure your own copy of Smart Class before classes open. Contact marketing at debaggroup.com to know more. Students are expected to summarize the lesson on their own using a graphic organizer. You may also evaluate the quality of your students' learning by letting them practice their learning in real life through GRASP's formatted performance tasks. The content of Smart Class is designed for the entire academic year, and it is available for five major subjects. 
all aligned with DepEd's K-12 curriculum and covers the most essential learning competencies prescribed by DepEd. Secure your own copy of Smart Class before classes open. Contact marketingandibagroup.com to know more. Because new normal means new learning modalities and new learning possibilities. Let Dibal make learning offline possible with Smart Class. Smart Class contains pre made daily modules sequenced according to DepEd's budgeted teaching and learning calendar. Each module has a specific lesson duration and has day markers to guide parents and teachers in the asynchronous learning of learners. Inside the modules available in Smart Class, you will find the following elements. First, learning competencies are identified in the module openers. Kickstarters are available to test students' prior knowledge on the subject matter. This set of activities, found at the beginning of each lesson, may also serve as motivational activities. Parents of preschool to grade 2 students will also find notes to parents which contain tips and pointers on how they can guide their child while learning at home. Redefine your student's learning experience with the integration of augmented reality technology into images and illustrations available in Smart Class, making learning more interactive and exciting. At the end of each module, Long Quiz is also available to assess students' understanding of the lesson. Smart Class also features Wrap Up, a lesson ender activity that applies the constructivism theory of learning. In Wrap Up, students are expected to summarize the lesson on their own using a graphic organizer. You may also evaluate the quality of your students' learning by letting them practice their learning in real life through GRASP's formatted performance tasks. The content of Smart Class is designed for the entire academic year, and it is available for five major subjects. All aligned with DepEd's K-12 curriculum and covers the most essential learning competencies prescribed by DepEd. Secure your own copy of Smart Class before classes open. Contact marketingandibagroup.com to know more. Good day, Kavibal, and welcome to our Facebook Live learning session. For the discussion today, the topic will be on teaching in digital age, setting up a learning network with your co-teachers for a collaborative work in virtual teaching. Before we begin, take note of the following reminders. Make sure you are registered to the webinar to have your e-certificate of participation. Visit certificate.ibalgroup.com to generate your proof of attendance. Place your questions on the comment box allotted during the session, and they will be addressed by our speaker later on. Share the video using hashtag LearnUs1PH as our official hashtag to our Vibal webinars. Experience learning, Kavibal. And now, to proceed, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished speaker. 
Our speaker this morning is a graduate of Bachelor of Secondary Education and Social Studies at the Palawan State University in 2005. He earned his Master in Education in Educational Administration in 2012 at the Pamantasan ng Longsod ng Maynila. He's also taking up Masters of Education in Social e Science Education at the National Teachers College. He has also earned his PhD in Educational Administration at the Manila Central University in 2017. Also, he has a diploma in Chinese Mandarin language teacher, which he earned at the East China Normal University in 2013, and a certificate in Global History and Asian Studies at the Ateneo de Manila in 2013. He served as the Master Teacher of Social Studies at the Deped Gessen City, and a college instructor at the University of Rizal System. Currently, he is a research and statistics professor at the Colegio de Montalban and head teacher uh, of Araling Panlipunan at DepEd QC. Ladies and gentlemen, let us please welcome Dr. Richard Katain. Hi, uh, good morning. <clears throat> Thank you very much for that introduction, Sir Paul. Uh, I'd like to greet uh, everyone first with these different dialects that I prepared. I hope uh, I will be able to uh, pronounce it uh, correctly and uh, enunciate it clearly to you. Maayong buntag sa tanan for our uh, kababayan in the Kabisayaan area. Uh, maayong aga sa inyong tanan for the Piligaynon in the Panay. Naimbag na bagati kayo amin for our friends in... Uh, the North, eh, the, the Ilocos, uh, Ilocos region. And maayap na abak for the Kapampangan friends that I have. No? So, uh, maupay na aga, yan. Balik tayo sa Visayas area for the people of Samar in Leyte. And of course, for the Mimaropa in Calabarzon area. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. I am glad for this opportunity that uh, Vival has given me. So, <clears throat> again, uh, I am tasked to present to you Teaching in a digital era. At, uh, the, in, at the end of this uh, presentation, I, uh, uh, probably I could engage everyone to have this idea of uh, preparing teaching in this digital period, collaborating with uh, other teachers who are probably with advanced exposure to this technology that we are having now, or probably with difficulty you know that's that, that's the that's the main goal of this uh, presentation i i have my uh, uh, <clears throat> direct objectives you know at the end of the presentation uh, i hope that our attendees would be able to gain insights about uh, digital education you know with the digital uh, uh, era uh, uh, especially the, the 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 name that we call new normal no embrace or uh, change as the opportunity for everybody to, to grow and develop you known as individual and as educator and also uh, i also i also target to engage you no know, as i mentioned no engage everyone to continue on learning and relearning you no know? so kasi pwedeng after 10 years sila na ng pag-aralan natin or 5 years pwedeng hindi na sa magagamit at this time no so and at the end, uh, I hope that uh, you can get uh, some uh, uh, takeaway or lesson out of this training that we will be having this morning. <clears throat> now, the first slide that I am showing you is a combination of the, the word change and chance. No? Every time that there is that uh, what we call change, no? especially for those who are in the business world, it is always an opportunity or a chance to do business, no? Like we are, like, like we are experiencing this time. You notice that uh, when the government has required us to to do the face, uh, the wearing of the face shield, no? So it is a change from the usual wearing of face mask that we do to wearing a face mask, and at the same time wearing the face shield no for those who are in the business this is an opportunity for them to do or to earn profit no so in in every proposition of change there is a chance and uh, 
uh, applying the idea to the education setup, no, um, every change that we do, no, changes everything. And it suggests at that uh, it suggests at us that uh, we need to uh, gradually leave the old way and embrace the new way. So look at the picture, no. It has two directions, no. Uh, doing the old way and going the new way. Yan. So sana ano tayo dito. Kung baga ma, ma, ma absorb natin. Am I too fast or uh, is it okay? Sige, bagalang ko na lang para mabilis yata ako. Okay. So, next. It is very important that as we appreciate ano, or we encounter change or changes, we need to do some acknowledgement that there is a need for us to change because according to Dr. Phil McGraw, he's a famous psychologist uh, in the US, no? sabi niya, you cannot change what you do not acknowledge. No? So, we are facing the difficulty of doing instruction at this time. Ma ang dami nating mga ang dami nating mga demand na hindi kumbaga minsan beyond our control. Like for example, what if you are ready, you are equipped and you have all of this uh, technological stuff, no? And gadgets. Eh wala mahina ang connection. So, di ba? So, marami kang pwedeng i i demand or pwedeng sabihin, but uh, if you do not acknowledge those things no as present at your time or present within your periphery it's very difficult no so we need to acknowledge that there is a change for us to change no there is a change that we need to do for us to to adapt to it or be able to to uh, to move forward uh, as mentioned by John Dewey is a famous uh, educator and a believer of uh, constructivist education he believed in the idea of learning by doing ano sabi niya education is life itself kaya this must continue to sustain its life no now educators we as we call ourselves you know in most of us who are attending this time i think lahat tayo no we we believe that education is part of our life kasi uh, aside from we do actual teaching no uh, pinangarap natin na maging parte tayo ng ng pag-unlad at paglago no so if we if we think that education daw is life uh, no this must uh, this must continue no yan ano kaya nangyari sa screen ko okay oh yan next so sabi ni John Dewey yun so again uh, I'll I'll be sharing with you teaching in a digital era or age yan okay now uh, what is teaching in a digital era? Uh, I know I understand that this past uh, several months, no, and dami nyo na, uh, ano na tayo, anong tinawag, tawag dyan? Uh, mayroon na tayong online fatigue. Nabasa ko yung ano kahapon sa online fatigue. So, yung dahil na expose tayo sa lahat ng mga trainings, uh, bombarded tayo sa lahat ng mga, mga webinars, no, minsan nagkakaroon na tayo ng online fatigue. But, uh, it, it is very important that we acknowledge it again. No? Yung balikan natin yung sinabi ni Dr. McGraw kanina. We acknowledge that there is that need for us to <laughs> embrace this type of uh, uh, modalities in, in training us kasi we used to have a, an actual or face-to-face -face training before. No? So this time, digital period na pwedeng virtual. No? So according to the a source that I found from Panreza in 2018, teaching in a digital era refers to instructional delivery using digital media, online or virtual or teleconference where students are supervised by the teachers for both synchronous and asynchronous approach. Yan. Under this instructional structure, the teacher's main role is to keep on watch to their students and should be smarter. See, look at how uh, I highlighted the word smarter there, no? Than their students, especially of technological, especially when it comes to technological issues. So there is a demand that we acknowledge that there is a change that we should do because if we have our smart students, it is very important you, we teachers, should be smarter. Diba? Eh, minsan may challenge pa. 
So what if I have a smarter students? Ay dapat smartest ka. Kasi ahead ka dapat lagi, no? So teachers are encouraged, no? Paano ba sabihin na hindi naman mukhang obligado kayo? Uh, uh, suggested, no? Uh, kumbaga ay recommended, no? To be engaged in um, digital education trainings, yan, exposure to digital modal, uh, different modalities in delivering instruction para maging smarter daw tayo. Because we have smart students, we need to be smarter. No? And if in case that we have smarter students, better is we need to be <laughs> smartest. No? Yan. Okay, next. So ito yung mga alam kong... Uh, alam na alam na natin no alam na alam na ng mga teachers ito and some of them no are being used by by the teachers during their uh, uh, simulation uh, classes or sample uh, or uh, yung mga yung mga dry run classes no itong itong Moodle itong uh, Google Classroom itong Kahoot at Slido so alam na natin yan no at uh, hindi ko na isa-isa niya sa inyo dahil alam ko uh, equip na kayo diyan at uh, uh, hinihintay na lang natin ang opening of classes or sa mga ibang nag-open na hinihintay na lang natin na mag-feedback more or less kayo kung ano yung mga disadvantages or advantages of using these types of uh, learning aid in the, uh, in the the technological um, uh, period no okay so we have uh, two challenges on landing into digital era of teaching so let us try to analyze if these two that i have uh, that i'd like to present to you no kung ito ba ay uh, valid as a claim na ako nag nag, nag, nag nakapag nakapag research nito sa inyo so importante itong dalawang bagay ano na tayo ay susulong at susuong no dito sa tinatawag nating teaching in the digital era or age yan So, number one is a personal disposition. So, ano itong personal disposition na tinatawag? Yung a, a, ano ba, paano ko tinitingnan bilang tao, bilang guro, yung aking paraan para i-upgrade ang sarili ko considering that I have this need being uh, indirectly, ah, indirectly or directly introduced to me by my surroundings, no? na kailangan kong i-upgrade. So, kapag passive ako at hindi ko sasabihin, hmm, oh, hindi na, ayaan mo na, okay na. Sila na lang, yung mga bata na lang, yung mga uh, yung mga young generation. No, hindi po ganon. So, yung personal dispositions natin, uh, disposition natin, napakalaking bagay niya. Ano? Para tingnan ang solusyon sa problema at tingnan ang problema sa solusyon. So, There are some no yung yung may mga instances no because of our personal disposition we see problem as an uh an uh, kumbaga hindi sa mare-resolve na problema and yung isa may isang dis, yung with different disposition mayroong problema pero nakikita ang solusyon so uh, napakaimportante niyan napakaimportante niyan na paghahanda sa atin bilang mga guro sa panahon ng digital teaching or digital education. So pag hindi klaro or passive ang iyong disposition sa buhay para makapagturo ka, maapektuhan ang iyong magiging uh, trabaho, ang iyong magiging uh, output or product ano. So sabi ni Henry Ford, yan. So is a very famous na uh, Uh, writer may mga may mga ano sa may mga mga importanteng quotation sa ang may gawa ng Ford na sasakyan sabi niya uh, don't find fault find a remedy anybody can complain so this is one of the illustration of what am i trying to say this that is personal disposition so uh doon sa sa mga trainings natin no doon sa idea ng mindfulness no yung yung mindfulness na tinuturo sa atin yung there is that existing problem at malinaw dapat kung ano ang distance mo sa problem na existing at paano mo i-safeguard ang sarili mo para hindi ka lamunin ng problema or hindi ka uh, mag, hindi ka babagsak because of that problem no so what is being suggested here by Henry Ford is that Uh, find remedy. 
do not find fault. Yan. And uh, anyway, uh, it is human nature that we we complain, we say we, we say uh, uh, negative observation because we we want to proactively uh, give give direction to our existing problem. No, so the best ang sinabi niya na uh, instead of finding fault, find remedy. Yan. Number two, dalawa lang naman yun ano. So ang number two natin, uh, klaro na tayo doon sa ating personal disposition. Another is professional orientation. How is that, uh, uh, how is the idea of training you to become person with this profession that you are in now? So malaking bagay yun. Kasi kung halimbawa, positive ang iyong disposition, but... Uh, Uh, ang iyong professional orientation na halimbawa ay basta ako turo uwi uh, turo uwi lang that's it tapos na uh, ayaw ko nang i-upgrade ang sarili ko so inorient mo ang sarili mo na limitahan ang kakayanan mo para mag-upgrade ka so uh, challenge ito sa iyo bilang isang professional dahil hindi klaro sa iyo ang uh, antas or yung yung taas or level ng commitment na ka kaya mong ibigay para ma-upgrade mo nga no so uh, example sa professional orientation dahil ba educators tayo teachers tayo no for teachers in teaching profession this connotes level of commitment and dedication uh, to the job or the job being being performed or yung ginagawa natin no so pag uh, may may ron tayong uh, doubt of of our chosen field or career no eh, ma maapektuhan po ang ating pag-adapt o pagyakap doon sa pagbabago ng digital era of teaching no sabi ni Confucius uh, kaya nga it's very important that we will be reminded most of the time and all of the time no that um, when you learn a job no when you have a job with you you need to choose a job that you you like you love no because at the end of the day Some uh, who might say that it's difficult for them, for you, it's a light thing, no? It's just a part of your, a play, no? Sabi niya, choose a job that you love, no? And you will never have to work a day in your life, no? So, uh, parang magiging laro lang daw, no? Kapag pinili mo yung gusto mo. So, kaya, kaya nga minsan, no? Lagi tayo may mga, ano, uh, may mga trainings for ano yung yung mga uh, ma-upgrade natin yung patuloy na pagyakap no sa profession natin na ito na we we are part of uh, building no we we build yan we are part of development we are part of growth so malaki ang challenge malaki ang role na ginagampan na natin so, hindi sa hindi biro yon okay so i'll be sharing with you Uh, practical tips on how to become effective and efficient teacher in a digital era. So hopefully, <laughs> makatulong po ito sa inyo. And uh, ito ay number one. So uh, with this period of doing teaching in a digital era, it is very important to rethink virtual. No, For so long a time, uh, we hear these quotes from uh, famous uh, American uh, or I, I, American writer, I think that when they, when they present ideas, I that we need to think outside of the box. So when you think outside of the box, uh, you need to cultivate ideas no, beyond what is present as you think the solution of the problem. No? Today, according to John Mayer, we need to think outside of the office. So you know ang bago. So thinking virtual is thinking outside of the office literally no meaning uh, if you're not inside your office or your school where you are in ano you can still you can still teach no you can still part of the uh, professional learning community by literally doing it probably at home yan kaya meron tayong work work from home next number uh, ito yung sabi ng wikipedia na meaning daw ng virtual no refer to virtual reality or computer aided computer aided uh, 
materials na na develop yan so that is according to wikipedia yan so next so mabilis lang tayo no number two. if if you think that uh, uh, indulging into digital teaching or digital era of learning or, or teaching teaching and learning activities is difficult you need to seek a mentor no you need to find somebody who could give you uh, assistance no so May mga iba kasi na advanced na sila, pwede kang turuan. Yan. And uh, in in finding a mentors because uh, it is advanced already, no? So may mga may mga na ano na, kumbaga nag-level up din ang teaching and learning uh, 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 modalities or uh, approaches, no? We have two types diyan. Meron tayong dito yung traditional teacher, pwedeng face to face at katabi ka na tuturuan ka at ito at isa-isa na ibibigay sa iyo yung mga kailangan mong gawin doon sa sa monitor sa sa screen ano so yun yung tinatawag dating uh, tutor or uh, traditional teacher with physical contact no so physical contact or yung uh, mga example natin dito yung mga ICT uh, graduate siguro or IT teachers Yan, ICT graduate or teacher or professors or practitioners. Yan, mayroon sila talagang may sasabi diyan pag nag, nagtanong ka sa kanila, no? Minsan yung may mga uh, yung kinasanayan mo na, na alam mo na pag nagturo sila, mayroon pa pala silang ibang ano. I remember when I was still uh, uh, mga parang six years ago, Madalas ako mag-attend ng mga uh, online mga cross trainings ng mga on uh, mga yung mga IT schools yan. Hindi ko nababanggit ko ano yung mga IT schools na yan. So ano nung kapag uma-attend ako kasi libre naman no, minsan mga 1 hour lang sa mall, sa mall sila ganun. Na na-amaze ako kasi yung mga kinasanayan ko like for example sa computer yung mga shortcuts Oh, pag nag-attend ako doon, ah, mas may, may mas madali pa lang paraan pero for so long a time, ito na yung kinasanayan kong gawin or paraan paano gawin, mababago pa pala. So, yon, we need to seek a mentor, traditional teacher, if I say no, na magturo sa atin one on one. Another. So, we can make use of the digitally compiled materials or ang tinatawag nating video tutorial. Yan. So kaya ngayon alam mo yung uh, I always tell this to my students if you do not know uh, dati kasi from 18 1980s 1990s even teachers no if you are not good in number ang kinatatakutan lagi ay math math ngayon ang dali nang magturo ng matuto ng math siguro why di ba mag YouTube ka lang oh pagkatapos pag hindi mo na intindihan ulit-ulitin mo hindi ka pwedeng magtanong dahil hindi naman makapag reply sa iyo pero there are uh, explanations doon sa mga ginawa ng mga mga bloggers na ito na very clear at maintindihan mo o hindi mo kailangan tanong tan hindi mo kailangan itanong kasi pag actual di ba pag hindi mo na intindihan minsan ang uh, patience ng tatanungan mo maiksi kaya <laughs> hindi na lang no so pag gagamit ka ng video tutorial para mag-aral ka ng mga hindi mo masadong kabisado ang dali at pwede mong ulit-ulitin anytime no uh, kung anong oras mo gusto so pwede siyang ma-store din pwedeng ma-share pwedeng ma-review ma ma o pwedeng ma-refresh no so importanteng we need to seek our mentor now sabi dito paano daw ang mentoring no so for those who will be doing the mentoring, no, we, we need to think of this, no, of these two important uh, quotations. Sabi ni Benjamin uh, Disraeli, the greatest good you can do for ad for another is not just share your riches, but to reveal to him his own. So, uh, ang paraan ng pagkatuto natin hindi pareho sa paraan kung paano niya matututunan yung mga bagay na tinuturo mo. So importante sa paraan ng pagku-coach o pagmi-mentor mo dapat sa sarili niyang sarili niyang path yung kanyang susundan no sarili niyang path ang kanyang susundan 
kasi pwedeng along the way nang ginagawa niya yung uh, ginagawa niya itong pag-aaral niya i eh, nakadiscover siya ng mas madaling paraan no so like for example in 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 math di ba may mga may mga long methods short methods di ba iba-iba no even minsan yung pag yung iba ang nagturo iba ang paraan no ng pag pagtuturo yan another thing dito sabi naman ni um, Steven Spielberg no the delicate balance of mentoring someone is not creating them in your own image but giving them the opportunity to create themselves so that's our uh, that's our uh, mantra no yung teachers di ba so that is why when we teach we do not tell our students oh mag teacher kayo hindi ayahan mo sila kung anong gusto nila kasi that's not our role no we are bringing the best in them by trying to trying to unleash the potential no for them to grow as individual no now uh, another sabi pa rin ni Maya Angelo sabi niya when you learn teach and when you get give so uh, very important no very important that we continue to do the task of learning no yung matuto tayo matuto tayo pa and para Uh, para lalo nating ma-improve ang ating craft, importante po na tayo ay nagtuturo. Nagsishare tayo. Yan. Binabahagi natin. So, para magiging bihasa tayo dun sa ating uh, natutunan. Yan. So, number three. Ulitin natin. Ha? So, number one kanina, think virtual. Number two, uh, seek a mentor. Number three, learn gradual. No? So, hindi naman agad-agad 'yan, no? So, hindi siya ganun kadali, no? Kaya 'yun 'yun yung challenge sa iba na, no? Ay, pag ang hirap, eh, ang hirap. So, lahat ng complaint puro hirap, puro ano, ah, para bang ngayon, puro pasakit na lang ang ano. Pero uh, try to look at this, no? Our uh, our small effort, yung mga maliliit na 'yan, unti-untiin mo lang, no? It will give you the great impact no at the end no wag mong pagpahingahin ng sarili mo kung iniisip mong importante ito sa iyo hindi sa iyong sarili kung hindi sa mga pwedeng sa trabaho mo or sa iba pa no uh, we need to what continue on doing your effort no because uh, look at the look at the learning curve uh, picture here as a uh, Uh, introduced by Ebbinghaus no sabi niya yung kung gaano karami ang effort na iyong ibibigay gradual man yan or madalian that will determine your performance no so in vice versa kapag ikaw ay nagperform mataas ang performance mo it is because it is shown in your effort na ganito yung ginawa mo no yung learning effort mo talaga ay exceptional no so matututunan natin ito at uh, tandaan niyo gawa lang ito rin ng tao no so kayang-kaya natin di ba kailangan lang gradual nating aralan pag medyo na fail it's oh, balik ulit no oh, try ulit try ulit and pag hindi o oh, di from time to time you go to your mentor you seek the assistance of your mentor para ma-direct ka doon sa mga hindi mo alam Okay. So next, oh, ang, ang sabi ni ano ni Confucius dito no, in learning no, sabi niya, uh, paborito ko tong ano na ito, eh, quotation na ito. In learning, it does not matter no how slow you are as long as you do not stop. No, di ba? So learn to practice what is being uh, what is expected of you to be learned no, and along the way seek a mentor and do Uh, what is being asked of you to be done gradually no dahan-dahan uh, lang ayan yan uh, ma makaka-survive tayo diyan no so eh, at minsan pag inisip mo na nahihirapan ka along the way you do the yung habang ginagawa mo isipin mo na lang ikaw one step ahead ka na doon sa isang kasama mo sa kakilala mo na wala pang sinisimulan kahit isa see look at the advantage no look at Look at the beauty of starting, no, or doing it gradually, di ba? Nakaka, 
konti-konti, no? Konti-konti ay nakakaipon ka kahit papaano. Ayun. Number four, ito. So, join professional organization. So, like for example, di ba, sa dami nating napapanood ng mga uh, webinars, may mga iba dyan na uh, because of this type of uh, activities or trainings na ginagawa natin, nakakapag-introduce sila ng mga groups who can assist them. No? Like for example, ako dati, nung when I studied the Kotobi, no, pinadadalan pa ako ng ng private uh, parang tutor siya na mag one on one kami sa 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 computer so uh, ma maganda no na ma engage tayo dito para mayroon tayong marami pa tayong matututunan yan sabi ni uh, John Hill no in in an article uh, released in 2000 uh, 2018 of July sabi niya We have ten perks of joining a professional organization. So, um, I I I did some modification to adapt to the teaching context. No, sabi dito. Uh, the perks. The first perk is that uh, when you are part of specific uh, professional organization, no, it will give you continuing education, di ba? So, matututo ka, matututo ka talaga, no? Because of the meetings and sessions for several times, napakarami nya, napakada, marami po sa atin napakarami. Meron tayong alam nyo po ba yung sa science? Matagal na itong matagal na itong private organization ang Fius. Nakapag-attend ako minsan ng Fius. Ang Fius ay foundation for upgrading of science education. Yan. So may sarili sila ang office nila somewhere in uh, sa The Pearl Hotel in in uh, Ross Boulevard. Mapag ang mga committee mo doon mga retired uh, uh, retired deputy undersecretary, mga president ng universities, no? And tal uh, elite group siya, no? It is being funded by uh, Lucio Tan. So private organization no? tinampain ko na siya. Kasi I attended once and Uh, ilang once, parang thrice, no? parang thrice, six years ago. Hindi uh, pinadadala na ako ng invitation. And maganda, maganda ang mga sharing. No? And another, sa school naman, mayroon tayo, no? especially in the public school, they have this idea of uh, ang tawag nito, learning action cell. Yan. So learning action cell is a collaboration no? of the best practices among teachers. They meet, they gather to discuss things, no, to address certain concerns in terms of delivery of education, delivery of teaching, no. So maganda, kasi ang pinag-uusapan kung paano ma-upgrade, no, paano ma-upgrade ang pagtuturo. Another is job prospect. So for those who were, ah, ah, yung yung isa sa mga opportunities, no, if you're part of an organization. Meron kang mga job uh, opportunities no na pwedeng ma-avail. Another. So, doon sa continuing education program, sarili mo 'yon ang mag-identify mag kung if you're really uh, learning, no. So that's the time that if you acknowledge that there is learning, meaning you are being educated by this group indirectly or directly. Iba rin yung mentoring programs. So, ang mentoring programs if you're part of the organization Because there is, di ba, nag-meeting, no? yung mga officers ng organization na yan, yung mga, like for example, yung mga board members or board, di board of directors, nag-meet sila. So, na-upgrade at nami-mentor nami -mentor ka. No? So, nami-mentor ka at nagiging part ka ng growth kasi lumalago ka. Yan. Another, so, networking opportunities. Uh, ito naman yung halimbawa, yung linkages mo. Yan. So you will be able to be connected with different, uh, uh, different uh, organizations, pa, no? Na pwede ka makapaglink. Number five, access to resources, di ba? So may mga yung mga perks minsan ng being part of the organization, yung libre yung mga newsletters, yung mga news materials, or yung mga uh, studies, no? Yung mga Published studies, may merong ka mga publications na natatanggap. 
So from time to time na avail mo yun if you're part no of the organization or professional organization. Uh, gaining new perspective or learning new concepts or uh, ideas no so yun uh, what's wrong okay yan uh, okay next so importante yun no that we we gain a uh, new perspective no sa atin mas lalo na sa guro no although may ganun tayo sa school uh, especially for may mga in service trainings pero Uh, we need to upgrade pa. We need to, kailangan pa. Pwedeng personal, personal volition mo na lang yun to submit for additional training para sa sarili mo, para matulungan mo ang sarili mo. Next, another is professional development. So, yon okay na yon So, pareho lang ang thought niya kasi, syempre, na-equip ka ng mga bagong ideas. You, you mingle with uh, uh, different people in an mga professional so magkakaroon ka ng professional growth another number eight credential building you you have a tendency to to have additional uh, words to to be included in your uh, curriculum vitae yan di ba kalagay kasi doon organization membership kalagay so next certification assistance ito yung mga ano halimbawa yung mga Uh, siguro this time yung mga nagpapa nag-undergo ng CPD. Ayun. So, 'di ba minsan uh, nire-require tayo na dapat merong specific trainings na atinan at dapat may CPD units. So, this is one, no? Yung mga ganito. And time to recharge, no? For if if you're a member of a regular group no na walang extension at wala kumbaga yung doon ka na doon na yung crowd mo so parang uh, nalilimitan din ang chance mo para mag upgrade professionally emotionally psychologically lahat so when you're part of the other group ma ma-recharge ka and ma-enhance ka okay sige so next uh, mahirap so it is a very difficult Uh, challenge for us no talagang buong mundo naman so hindi naman lang tayo no mahirap that uh, uh, yung yung sarili natin na upgrade na natin pero minsan kulang yung assistance na pwedeng ibigay sa atin pwedeng pwede ng state or ng kung anong anong institution ka nabibilang pero uh, yun nga kung balikan natin yung dalawang pinanggit ko ulit kanina yung disposition at saka orientation napakalaking bagay no no uh, we have no choice but to adapt no because uh, ito na yon nandito na tayo sa digital era no digital era of teaching and learning no sabi dito adaptability is about the powerful difference between adapting to cope and adapting to win It is an advantage for those who are trying to adapt and win after all. If you are just adapting to cope, uh, parang by no choice ka lang. No? By no choice, kaya gusto mo mag-cope. Pero when you try to adapt to win, it's trying to improve your craft from time to time and be able to uh, produce. No? And at the end of the day, ikaw rin ang makikinabang nito dahil mag, mag, matutulungan mo sarili mo, mapapagaan ang mga, mga gagawin mo, habang ang iba, nahihirapan. ba diba? So, ang, ang very ano yon ma, maanong pakiramdam yun. No? Pero, hindi ko naman sinasabi na dapat you should be happy because others are doing parang a little bit suffering. No? Uh, again, it is our role no, as educator to take part in, and, and, and probably teach no to to mentor no to do the mentoring yan um minsan no sabi dito ni James Belke Belke sabi niya okay lang yon yung mga naranasan ng mga ganyan okay lang yan because that's part of doing you of uh, 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 building you to become person that uh, probably somebody in the future or some person that 
can be uh, possibly yung able siya no na makagawa ng mga mga challenge makapag ano makapag makapag meet ng mga challenges na ito ng makabagong paraan ng pagtuturo sabi dito you will never be the person you can be if pressure yung tatlo na ito tension and discipline are taken out of your life so let the tension the pressure and the discipline uh, work no and stay uh, hangat nandiyan yan so hayaan natin na uh, uh, maging parte ng ating buhay yan so with that thank you very much and good morning Sir Paul. Thank you very much, Dr. Katayin. So we collected some questions from our audience. All right, so let's start with um, Ms. Jean Custodio asked if, what suggestions can you give our teachers with regard to the challenges in digital teaching? Okay, so again, uh, I'd like to give the two, no? yung dalawa kanina. Uh, we embrace. No? Uh, uh, Anahin natin, kumbaga, tanggapin muna natin na mayroong pagbabago na dapat mangyari kasi may nabago eh. So, para hindi sa hindi sa ano, hindi hassle yung mga yung mga ano ba yung pag-aaralan mo yung mga kahot na yan, mga mga model na yan, mga nearpad na yan, yung mga parang pakiramdam mo eh nakukulture shock ka talaga. You you need to begin conditioning your mind that this is it, no? kailangan i-position ko ang isip ko na ito na yon Wala akong choice eh. So, yon I think I na nasagot ko ba? Second question is coming from Mr. John Eric Amba. Okay. Talking about the new normal, what's the best learning modality that teachers should implement with students? Uh, uh, pwede ko bang i-endorse na doon sa ano, sa basic lang ano, maganda itong Google Classroom. No? I- 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 ano ninyo itong i-master natin ang paggamit ng Google Classroom dahil uh, ano siya talaga uh, kumbaga user friendly no so i-store mo lang yung mga uh, digitized module mo and you can meet them naman kung gusto mo ng isang session na pwedeng present sila using Google Meet no so ito yung magkamag-anak na ito Google Classroom at Google Meet yan pero uh, again ma may mga ibang institutions no may mga ibang institutions na mas mas equip no mas uh, kumbaga mas solid no like for example Bibal itong Bibal yung nakita niyo yung kanila yung kanilang ano kanilang video so when you per, when you patronize their uh, yung yung product nila so ano na yun eh all in one pati pati yung kanilang mga yung curriculum hindi mo na kailangang i-prepare hindi mo na kailangang uh, uh, hindi mo na kailangang uh, iano pa kung bag i-validate etc kasi they have prepared the best team for this no so hopefully hopefully ma 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 makabili ang DepEd o makabili ang mga ano ng ano nito or ma-pattern natin ano so yon um, marami pang iba pero i think uh, yung binanggit ko that's the most one for generic no generic use but uh, for those who would like to like for example invest kasi education is investment no we can make use of the yung mga B smart uh, products ng Bebal yan okay what's the best thing to put in mind for us to adopt to these changes and challenges this is from Miss Christine in essential yan Miss Christine oh ganda ng tanong mo so yun ulit So mindfulness, uh, personal disposition at uh, yung ano optimistic. So may ganito uh, ano kaya ang gagawin natin? Ano kaya ang gagawin ko? Paano ako makapag-adapt nito? So uh, kapag na-determine natin yung yung ating sarili, ang ating kakayanan, that's the time na no, we open the door for change, no? So ito na yung time na i-absorb natin yung mga mga pagbabago ng paggamit ng mga different different modalities na ito no para ma-apply natin at matulungan ang sarili natin kasi tandaan natin no uh, we need to be smarter because we have smart students 
And if in case that our students are smarter, we teachers should be the smartest. No? That's the only thing we could supervise them. That's the only thing we could watch over their you know, activities as students. Kasi pag hindi, uh, pagpantay lang, uh, challenge yun. <laughs> hindi natin alam po mag magmamaterialize na ang learning sa kanila. Okay? All right, so I guess this is the time, sir, that you give us your final message for the audience. So, yon. So, thank you very much again, uh, Vibal, for this opportunity. No, so uh, we are living in a life of uncertainty, no? And opportunities, options, and uh, choices are there. It's up to us whether to stay traditional or gradually adapt these changes that we are we are having now and uh, the the challenge is not within our out uh, within the external periphery of our life no nasa sa atin no so kaya um, yung yung mga pagbabago na ito kung patuloy nating ma-embrace unti-unti naman siguro ay mat matutulungan tayo at the end of ano yung yung struggle na yan no ang balik niyan sa atin din naman no pag hindi tayo kumilos tayo ang mahihirapan that's all po okay there we have it thank you very much dr katain and thank you very much to the viewers who joined us this morning for an insightful learning session it is an honor to have you with us today sir uh, katain and of course our audience and of course all thanks to our uh, to our uh, supporters to the viewers for their continuous patronage to our daily learning session. So muli, maraming salamat po at magandang araw sa ating lahat.